There's a major international shipping change that everybody needs to be aware of that starts July 1st. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about a major shipping change that may alter some of your business starting July 1st. Now, this has nothing to do with a specific site, but a specific country. Now, Germany has enacted several different changes starting in 2019. Starting 2019 with the VAT changes, all those who sell internationally should know exactly what I'm talking about with the VAT changes, though your sales probably dipped majorly going to Germany in the first place. With the VAT changes, our sales dropped drastically to Germany. We still sell to many other countries. England's our number one probably overseas shipper. Canada is probably right up there tied with it too. Those are where the majority of our international shipping options go to. But with Germany now, you have to register your shipping supplies. You have to pay yearly fees just to be allowed to ship there. And we looked into them. It could be hundreds of dollars a year, depending on how much you may ship to the country. Let's look at this right now and tell you what you'd have to be aware of starting again July 1st in just a few days. Now here's a site just talking about e-commerce in Germany, and this is the German Packaging Act. Verpack G is usually what you see it uh, stated as in most of the articles that I have read about this. Now this was pointed out to me by one of my patrons. I did not even see this. I even went back in and looked on Amazon US. I did find the Etsy posting was the first one that I found readily. Um, I don't usually read half the stuff that goes on in Etsy because it usually doesn't affect me very much eBay, I don't see anything announcing it other than a post that just happened a couple of days ago. This has been in the works for a while, so I would have thought there would have been more out there. Even Amazon, which this would affect, I don't see anything sitting out there other than on Amazon Europe that actually discusses this issue. But this is, again, for any items coming in here. You can read this article. I'll have a link to this one down below. Again, this affects anybody sending a package into Germany as a business. So if you're a business and you're sending something to a customer, these regulations fall into there. They have to be sent in certain type of packages. You have to register with several different German companies just to be allowed to do this. There is a fee. They give you specific ones. These are ones that I guess you pay a certain percentage of fee to have these recycled if they're not recyclable and a bunch of other different things going on. I, again, did look into it through eBay's link because they are offering a 5% discount but you have to register it with the German sites. So again, there is some things you have to do about this. Now it goes into some detail. I would recommend reading this if you sell internationally without a doubt. Now here is the only post I can find on eBay. Important updates on selling to German buyers on eBay. That's the title of this. It's dated 622 2022, just a few days ago. So they're reminding us, again, I don't remember them ever calling this out. Maybe they did. Maybe I just didn't see it. I can't find a record of it. This is going back to the 2019 Packaging Act, which was, again, about the same time VAT was instigated, where now it has to be collected and all these other types of things. And that's, again, why we already dropped drastically in sales to Germany in the first place. It's not price conductive for people to buy some of the items when you have to add on the international shipping costs. Now, I know people ship to some countries, including Germany, in just an envelope if it's a small card or something, but technically that's not legal. You get caught doing it, you could be in some trouble with international laws. I just don't ship that way. Again, the sales are already low. For us, I'll tell you right now, we're just not going to ship to Germany anymore, unfortunately. We are going to remove it. Even if you don't do anything about this and you think it's no issue, eBay will just block you from being able to sell to Germany in the first place. This also goes for the global shipping program. So even if you're shipping through the global shipping program, you still will be required to follow the same rules, so you won't be able to ship that way either. Same thing for international standard delivery. You have to follow these rules. These are legal rules. Uh, pressed upon by actually the country of Germany. Now eBay has a, a deal with another company, a licensing partner, which will get you your license 
for your boxes. And this is a German company as well, from the way I understand it. Now, this is the site that eBay links to that's in Germany that would handle it for you. Now, it starts at 39 euros a year. That's what it starts at. But if you use any more boxes than that, it keeps going up. There is a discount, 5% uh, off using this sign up here. Obviously, eBay probably gets some form of kickback from it, but a joint service from eBay and this company. So eBay is definitely making a profit off of setting this up. Obviously, they have a German eBay site in Germany already, so they already have connections there to do this. It's not super, super complicated. You just have to understand your packaging requirements and what you have to put in and the whole works on here. So I would, again, if you're going to be selling and you do sell enough to warrant this, I would fill it out as soon as possible. It's supposed to be done before it goes into effect. So the last day of June, you need to have this in. Now you also have to go to this site. Once you get that agreement all done, they'll give you a number and then you'll have to come over here and you'll have to register your items, your business with Germany also. It's right here at the top. It just goes into some detail on it. So if you're selling something to Germany in packaging, which pretty much covers everything, you got to do all of these processes. Now that doesn't mean just because it was already packaged like a, a new old stock toy or something, that you don't have to worry about it. You, you're putting that in another box. So that other box now has to be licensed as well. So there's a bunch going on here. This again will affect some people who sell overseas who haven't a clue that this is required. Now the same thing goes for Amazon. Now this is from Amazon Europe, but the same law applies across the globe from everything that I can see because all of the sites over here, we'll show you Etsy in just a minute here, posting and talking about this as well. Now, Amazon does have some other solutions. You can go ahead and check this out yourself. If you're FBA, it would be the same basic principle. If you're selling straight to the destination again, you'll have to worry about this. Now, this one's been up for a little while, but again, this is not the US uh, Amazon site. This is not Amazon.com, the US site. Now here's Etsy's version of this Verpack G again. That's what most people are calling it. Requirements impacting shops selling to Germany. So again, it goes into the same basic details, all the same basic requirements, the dual system partner, which again is like a recycling business of some sort. So no matter where you are selling, even if you are an individual seller on your own spot, say you have a Shopify, Shopify has the same requirements. Everybody has the same requirements. So even if you are just selling on your own platform, your own site, you are going to run into issues when you sell to Germany and do not meet these requirements. Now again, my response for this as of right this very second is to turn off shipping to Germany. One good thing though with this is you only have to register once. So if you sell on 10 different sites, it's only a one-time fee. You can use the same Lucid number for all of your platforms that you sell on. You do not have to register separately for each one. You're only registering as a business. You are not registering for Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and all the other places on your own. Block Germany unless you have that number. Now, if you add up all your sales to Germany and they're minuscule, less than 50 bucks, your profit margin is, is not huge. It's probably not worth you continuing to sell to Germany. The VAT already has killed and crushed a large chunk of people's actual sales to Germany to begin with. So you really may not have that big of an ordeal if you do block German sales, sales to Germany. That right now is the easiest bet in my personal opinion. Again, based on how much sales we personally have, you may be different. You may be selling tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise to Germany, and it would surely be worth your time and effort to put this in. It's a one-time deal, but again, you have to renew every year and every year there's going to be a new fee it may go up every year it may increase steadily from this point it's hard to say in all honesty now a big thing to think about too is if you have to buy new shipping supplies just to ship to germany you may not be shipping a ton of items over there so your cost for shipping supplies may drastically go up we buy uh, shipping supplies in massive bulk so the cost is, is bare bones minimum. But if I have to order specialty items just to ship over there, I wouldn't use those same specialty items to ship here in the U.S. So take that into consideration. So 
if you're ordering boxes from some supplier and it's not recyclable, it's not the right material, you might have to order a secondary line again. So the costs might be into the box type you have to order or paper bubble wrap or whatever they require. The tape itself has to be specifically a certain kind from what I've read into it as well. So all of your packaging supplies, you may have to have dual amounts. You may have to have specific ones that satisfy Germany's requirement and then just normal ones to ship anything else you want. So take into account all the costs that you could incur. It's not just going to be the annual fee or any of that sort of thing. It may actually increase your shipping supply fees. So that's all plays into that uh, aspect. If you're only making $200 in profit from sales to Germany, but it's going to cost you $250 uh, to set it up and to cover everything in the boxes and supplies, it's not worth it for you. So judge it by how much you sell to Germany. You can sort those out by downloading a CSV file uh, of your sales for the last year. You can open it up in Google Documents or in Excel, and then you can sort the destination or the location of your buyer. Or you can even sort it down through the international fees that you may have paid or international currency transfer fees that you would have paid to uh, eBay as well. One of those options will get you there just as easily. It's going to show the country of origin in those reports. We've looked through them before, so I know it's readily accessible with just a few clicks on it. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.